Do you ever just want people to forget that you exist? For their reaction to you to just not be there, they don't even see you, it's like you're invisible. I've been feeling this more and more lately, as my responses have been becoming more robotic to other people, and as I've found myself less interested in everything. Um, I've just kind of wanted other people to forget that I'm there, and for me to get on a boat and float away somewhere else to hide from the problem. I don't really know why, but I've had this longing feeling that I want something else, that there's something here that I need to find, and I need to go somewhere, and I... I need to stop doing what I've been doing, what I've always been doing for these last four or five years. I, I need something different. I, I keep thinking this, and I, like, I, I talk to the same people each day. I've been talking to a lot of these same people for the last, like, two years. And it always feels like the same thing is just repeating over and over and over again. And I, I just... I, I, I feel like I need a way out, like there's something wrong here, and I, I don't know what it is. That's the thing, is that, you know, that there's something empty, but I can't place what it is. I don't know what it is, and I, I, I know there's, there's something, there's something missing, and I, I just, I, I end up not wanting other people to, you know, be reminded of my existence. But I don't know why. That's the thing, is that I, I just, I, I keep having all of these feelings that they're just in this, this strange sinking hole in my mind, and I, I don't know where they come from. I just, I, I, I want to be entertained by something. I want to get out. I want to be immersed by something again. Not to just have media cover up a wound and not even do it very well. I... I just... I want something else. <sighs> See, I, I was trying to approach this video with some kind of, like, radio voice or trying to be entertaining in some way, but... With the emotions I'm feeling, it's just hard. It's just hard to, to talk normally, or rather to talk in the kind of exaggerated form that I would tend to in rants, because I, I'm, I've never been good at making myself do a video, at talking in a kind of heightened way, radio star, you know, this is who I am and all this other stuff, you know, I, I've never been good at that. I just talk, I turn on the camera and I say words, and sometimes, somehow, it ends up coming out okay. But, because I'm feeling these emotions, I've, I've felt the need to not just let the words come out, that I have to structure what I'm saying, or... I have to say things with a certain intonation that would inquire entertainment. And that fear of presenting the emotions that I'm feeling are, uh, it's, I don't know. I don't know why I've been feeling like this. this is the worst that I've been feeling in a while. It's, it's like reality isn't even happening sometimes. Like I'm just watching myself from a, a mirror of some kind. That it's not me. It's like, I, I say things and I don't even know, I don't even know where it starts or where it ends. It's just a constant ebb and flow. 
I don't know which parts I should believe more, which parts I shouldn't. I just know I want to get out of this place. I want to go somewhere else. Meet people, talk to someone, build something, learn something. I just, every single day in this room, I... I don't know. I was sitting here in this chair and uh, I remembered back to some old sentiments that were levied against me by close friends of mine, close friends of mine for a very long time, people who meant a lot to me. Um, you know, I've, I've had people who were my best friends tell me that I was going to kill myself when I, before I turned 18 or when I turned 18. They believed in me so little, they... Uh, they, they literally said that they've always had high hopes, but very, very low expectations. But, uh, they told me this when I was sort of at a breaking point in my life, where um, <laughs> I was unmedicated for a lot of hallucination stuff going on. Um, my home situation was really, really bad at the time. Uh, and... I just felt like absolute garbage, you know? Not the kind of depression I feel. Oh, fuck, man. I just released, um, or rather scheduled, because it's not supposed to come out until 11 p.m. of tomorrow. That's been the time I've been putting out all my videos recently, and when I schedule them. I just put out this video called, um, Past, Present, and Progress, or something like that, or Perfectionism and Progress. I don't... I don't even remember. I uploaded it like five minutes ago and I can't even remember the title. I put out that video and, you know, I, I felt anxious all day. You know, it's it's been bothering me. But something specifically with having <laughs> released that video has been getting to me. And it's it's nothing in the video that I haven't said, in some form at least, on the internet before, so I know it's not the video. It, there's just something in this span of time that's just making me feel anxious. Like, my heart at this moment is going really fast, and I don't know what it is. And all day today, my heart has just been randomly going really fast, and after I uh, scheduled that video, I had this thought that I thought I could die right now. How would I feel? What would happen? And I started to get really worried again <laughs> uh, that I was going to die all of a sudden before I got to, I don't know, do something with my life. And I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have anxiety like that normally, but I really didn't like it. I just started feeling it out of nowhere, and uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a new thing that I have to deal with, worrying that I'm just going to die all of a sudden. Of course, I stopped feeling bad about it after like two minutes, because I rationalized that death is going to happen anyway, so it doesn't really matter, and I'm not going to care when I die because I'm going to be literally unconscious, and so that kind of snapped me out of it to remind myself that uh, existence, you know, is what it is. But boy oh boy, in that moment I was sure feeling something. I think the moments I get nostalgic for are the moments in which I'm living life entirely in the present, not looking back, or if looking back, only for a brief time, and being able to experience that life fully. There was bad, but there wasn't as much bad as there is now by a, a marginal, um, you know, marginal assessment, but like, 
even then, you know, um, there you were just living in the present more. And so if you're living in the present more, then that means you're not going to be focusing on the past, which is nostalgia, which is depression. So, ironically, the moments you get depressed for the most tend to be uh, the ones in which you're looking back in the past. The only way to get around this, of course, is to live in the present. I haven't found anything like that yet. I haven't found a way to alter my mind and not think about the past for that duration of time, but I certainly get moments, good strands of moments, where I am completely thinking in the present and it's not bothering me. But the factors that cause that to happen are, you know, exceedingly rare. They have to combine in just the right way over and over again. We're nostalgic for it because it's a strand. No, most people, they forget what they did in an individual day. But because they had a good two months, all of those days can then line up and you can remember the best moments from all of them, but it feels like it's going back to back. And because of that, in your mind, you're understanding that this was a back to back sensation. All of these days just shot up each other as well. Well, maybe logically, you can see this at the time, and so you decide, well, maybe all of the days where, where, um, where, where you, you weren't doing anything, what if those days are just okay, and you're not really unhappy or happy, still focusing on the present? Well, They use this tactic to try to justify the feeling that you're feeling. And then as a result of that, it's justified. And now you have to believe it. But the other... Um, You know, sometimes I get nights like this, nights where I'm walking around my room, laying on my bed, desperately trying to get to sleep, and I have a thought. I have a thought about, why am I doing this? Really, why is all of this? consumed my life to such a point that the high point, the one high point of my day that I can always look back to is the fact that I did another six hour live stream. I mean, I enjoy doing them and I feel better afterwards. I always do. But why do I have to do those things? Why is it that I wake up every day